This video was produced by the Top Cut. Be sure to check out thetopcut.net. Your home for Pokemon TCG tournament coverage, professional game analysis, and interviews with the best players in the world. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, this is Pram bringing you the top four of Wisconsin states. Uh, on our right, we have our very own Kyle Pukasukovic, and on our left, we have Jay Horning. Uh, they are both playing Eeltrick, Zekrom, and so we're in for a pretty interesting mirror match. Um, yeah, so a little bit about this matchup. It's actually, I think, one of the most dynamic matchups in the format right now, where uh, constant prize trades are uh, very important. And we do see Jay starting with a Tynamo and a Mewtwo going first. Um, I can't really see what Kyle is starting with, so uh, we'll bear with that for a little bit. And we see a, a Zekrom drop down by Jay, and then a Juniper. Uh, so he got, did get rid of a couple lightning energy with that. Pretty good for him. And he really wants to get some more Tynamos out. Uh, I do see a Collector in his hand, so he is running the more co Collector version rather than going for dual balls, um, which is fine, you know, c as long as you start with the collector, but unfortunately we do see a collector in his hand, and if that had been dual ball, but hey, uh, you know, it's one of those risk versus rewards kind of deals. Okay, so we do see a calm come in, and he is getting, he, he looks like he's getting the thunderous, does he have energy? Yes, he does. He gets the thunderous, and he's going for a turn one charge. Uh, this is is very important in this matchup. Um, what, because it allow, especially going first, if you can get a turn one charge off, and then you can catch your uh, knock out a Tynamo, and then later on catch your knock out with a plus power uh, a Neil trick, then you're in great shape. Plus, it also fuels your discard with lightning energy, and that's always a good thing for this deck. So, yep, Jay does go for turn one charge. Uh, and maybe we will see what Pokemon he is up against, because right now I just see a big flash. Oh, I, I just saw it thanks to Kyle's shading over his card. It is a Thunderous. So it is a Thunderous versus Thunderous right now, and that's a very good start for Kyle. Uh, turn 1 charge is definitely one of the best attacks in the game, uh, in, in this matchup. So Kyle does drop a, a Tynamo of his own. <coughs> And let's see what he does from here. Oh, okay. So he plays Evil Light down on uh, Thunderous. And that's pretty good because it's going to make it so uh, only, really only a Bolt Strike Zekrom can knock out that Thunderous. And he does play on. Okay. So he's looking for some lightning here. And he brings up, he brought up the Mewtwo just simply because, hey, Mewtwo's really not that good in this matchup unless it's against another Mewtwo. And if you pop Mewtwo down, like Jay did, because he was worried about the turn one, then what's going to happen is that's just two easy prizes for Kyle. So, let's see if Kyle can pull off some energy. Yeah, he did. And I see some a dual ball, too. So, Kyle's hand, if it has a supporter, I can't really tell. It looks pretty strong if it does. Oh, he does get double heads with dual ball, so everything's looking pretty good for Kyle right now. If I was him, I'd probably grab two more Tynamos. That seems pretty strong, because one of them is probably going to get uh, knocked out. So just having three down, because you only really need two Eel Tricks out on the field. So let's see what Kyle does. Alright, he's searching. Just making sure... Just check in for what's... This is his first deck search of the game, so he's checking what's prized, what can, should he get, and he does get two Tynamos. Uh, and he's going to touch that lightning, yep. And goes for a charge. So far, this game has been a pretty standard game from uh, both ends. A little unfortunate for Jay that he had to start with the Mewtwo on the bench, but, uh, you know, with Tyro running around, you really can't afford to go risk having that, uh, that Ty uh, Tynamo just sitting there all by itself. So we do see a Sage's training from Jay. 
That's an interesting card. Um, generally, what I found is with Sage's training is you end up discarding more cards that are good and you need rather than cherry picking the cards that you want. So like, you'll get a lot of situations where it's like, oh, I have to have I have a catcher, junk arm, and double colorless, but I can only pick two. Well, that that kind of sucks. So, Jay does drop down an evolve. Eel trick and evolve uh, drops out another time though. Attaches. I think he has a switch. Yep, switches out the Mewtwo. And does he have the catcher for the hat trick? I don't know. Yes, there it is. Catchers up the Tynamo. And this is where getting three Tynamos is really important. Um, it really safeguards against these type of plays. Uh, so what do you do here as Kyle? Your opponent just got a pretty much an ideal turn one, turn two. Um, and even though you had an ideal turn one, he's beating you in the face first. That's the power of going first. So you're playing from behind. What do you do? Well, if you can go double... He, do, he clearly doesn't have two eel tricks, because if he did, he would just go uh, send up Thunderous, Bolt Strike, if he had all that. Um, you know, he can catcher, go for an, a catcher knockout, that would be pretty strong. So he d does junk arm away, a DCE and a lightning. He gets back, catcher, okay. So what do you bring up? You br either bring up eel, e you can bring up one of the eels, or you can bring up Mewtwo. Um, eel trick looks, or a time, okay, so he goes, he's going for the Tynamo. So he's just making sure he gets a prize this turn, trying to keep up with Jay. He doesn't want to fall behind. And he does get an eel trick off that uh, Juniper for 7. Oh, he has a dual ball too. Uh, his hand looks fairly strong, but so does Jay's. Uh, no, that was his discard. <laughs> his discard looks strong. Um, so, if Kyle can pop out another eel trick... And his board is going to be pretty secure. Let's see what Kyle does. So he's, he retreats. And dual balls. Okay. Uh, gets at least one heads. I don't know if that's a five or a four. What do you get here? Probably a thunder or a, uh, a Zekrom here. Probably get Zekrom. Um... I think you only got one heads. Yeah, if you can only get one Pokemon, you get Zekrom. If you get two, you get Zekrom Mewtwo and just put Mewtwo on your hand, into your hand. But, oh, and he even has a level ball to go with this. So, Kyle, drawing pretty well. He's got a turn two perfect setup. And, you know, and he's going to be uh, disaster volting for a prize. Jay's just going to be on one eel trick. And he's going to be on the back foot for pretty much the rest of the game until he deals with the double Dynamotors that are on Kyle's side of the board. Uh, so he does drop the Zekrom down. It's fine. Yep. And he goes for a Disaster Volt. So. Jay's turn. What do you do as Jay? Hmm. Well. You... T I th he has a catcher in his hand, but he, I don't know if he does. He doesn't look like he has plus power. So lack of that second Dynamotor is gonna really hurt Jay here. Uh, he's gonna. He's just gonna need a way to buy time here. So it looks like it's just gonna be a catcher for an eel trick this turn, and then just charge. Uh, he did attach that uh, DC to Zekrom. EX? I think that's a Zekrom EX. Which is actually not that strong in Mirror. Uh, to be blunt, uh, basically what happens when Zekrom EX ever comes down, it just gets two shotted by a Zekrom and a Thunderous. And that's two prizes. And it costs a lot of resources to keep it up. And though, that is th that's not to say Zekrom is bad if you run cards like Super Soup, uh, Super Scoop Up or Seeker or anything that like heals Zekrom 
to keep it alive for longer. It can be very cost efficient, but uh, generally it's it, it's very underpowered in this matchup. So let's see if Kyle has a switch or a DCE. Oh, he does have a DCE, so he will be able to retreat this turn, kind of negating Jay's last turn. Uh, you know, he was this this whole his whole last turn was kind of banked on Kyle not being able to get rid of get uh retreat heel trick and that's been negated. He, so he does drop down the Tyrogue for a free retreater, so when his most likely Thunderous gets sent up and gets knocked out, uh he will be able to respond by sending up Tyrogue and then powering up anything on his bench that he wants. So, Kyle did punt and didn't get a good look at what he had. I th I did see a junk arm, but I don't know. If, I would probably not use it this turn. I think this turn is going to be dedicated to a disaster volt, and then next turn bolt strike. And basically, you gave up one prize for two. It's a very cost efficient trade for Kyle, and Jay's going to be in a lot of trouble if that uh, Zekrom can't get out of the active spot. Though this matchup, N is a real game changer in this matchup. Um, you know, even if you lose a bunch of prizes early, one bad N and the game is over. Uh, it can completely turn around games. It can do a lot of, a lot of crazy things to situations. You know, you may be up three to one, but an N, one bad N later f for your opponent and you won the game. So, we do see one of the few times Sages works out pretty well. Uh, he gets rid of all those collectors that aren't going to do him much good for this, the rest of the game. Uh, you can't really afford to use collector in, this, in these spots. And he does super rod a couple cards back, no, most notably a shaman. Uh, Shaman's a very a very powerful card in the stack. Uh, you can suddenly power up anything with Shaman, so it's it's a very good, very good combo. Um, let's see. So he does have a Sky Arrow Bridge, but he doesn't really want to play it down. Uh, it doesn't it would only really help his opponent out? It wouldn't do too much for him. But it looks like he did comm in something for a Tynamo. Or maybe it'd been a level. Oh, it was a level ball. Just trying to get a second eel trick. Just trying to, just trying to put himself back on equal footing with Kyle. Uh, so we put, probably will see a strong volt. And yep, there it is. So Kyle's feeling relatively good about this uh, situation so far. You know, it's played exactly like he thought it was. He gets strong volted, and now he's just gonna bolt strike that Zekrom. Well, he even has an Evil Light to go with it, so it's going to be very hard to counter knock out that uh, Zekrom. Yep, double Dynamotor. And if he even has N to go with this, that would be the absolute nuts to really round out this turn. Maybe he'll get another Dynamo out too, that would be pretty good. Let's see, so what does he get? He's looking at another Zekrom. Yeah, that, the, uh, Zekrom would be pretty good too. I kind of would like a third Tynamo out just to get three out, and then, you know, as, your board's pretty good from there on out. Yep, gets the third Tynamo. And let's see if he has an... Oh, and he even has N to round out the turn. So... Kyle's going to be drawing five, and then he's going to take two more for the prizes. He's going to be at a seven-card hand. Jay's only going to be at four, and Kyle's board is just much more threatening than Jay's is. Uh, Jay does draw decently off it. Um, I don't really know what Kyle has. Probably not going to play anything down. Yep, bolt strike. Takes two. 
And that's kind of why you don't play Zekrami X. Uh, it's, it's very cost inefficient in this matchup. And it, it, it's very good against like setup decks, like stage 2 decks. But outside of that, unless you're expecting a stage 2 heavy uh, field, I don't really think it's worth it. Because it's definitely not that great in the mirror. And it's not that great against uh, Celebi. So if you're just preparing against the main decks in the field, not worth it. But if you're preparing versus uh, a more wide variety, then yeah, it can see its uses. So we will see a plus power. And alright, so he, he does have enough for a bolt strike here for 130. But, what that does, because it's been plus powered, it puts 50 on Zekrom, and Kyle has the counter kill on board. Uh, that Thunderous on the bench, all it takes is two Dynamos and an Energy, or three Eeltrix, and that Zekrom will get knocked out. And then what does Jay do? Well, he'd be at three prizes, Kyle's at two. Well, there just happens to be a Mewtwo EX on Jay's board. Uh, at this point... Things are looking pretty grim. Uh, he's just going to retreat. And Bolt Strike for 130. Kyle. Just going to do the obvious. I'm going to knock out your Zekrom with my Thunderous. And then what are you going to do about it? You bet. And Jay really has to get N. If he doesn't have N, uh, Kyle may just win the game right here. So Tyro comes up. Lava ball. Yep. So he's getting the third eel trick out. And yeah, we're just going to see three dynamoters onto Thunderous. And a disaster volt for 80. 80 plus 50, 130. Perfect math. So we do see a Sage's training. Ugh, both these players play Sage. My inner hatred for uh, their builds is starting to seep out a little bit. <laughs> um, so yep, yeah, there's some a Tornadus. I don't I don't know what the other card is. And a Lightning getting discarded. So a pretty good discard for Kyle. But that's just because he runs so many Tornaduses. And he does get triple Dynamotor down. And he's just going to attach to Tornadus. Yep. So now Kyle's outs are actually quite a lot. Um, he can catch her, kill Mewtwo. He can... Oh, wow. And Jay doesn't even have anyone to send up for a good retreat cost. Uh, this is going to be very painful for him. Oh, but he does draw N. What a huge, what a huge draw. Uh, let's see if he, re ooh, he, does, he opts not to use it? Jay, you're at two prizes, man. Catch your, oh, well. I mean, I suppose because Kyle's bench is full, that's safe, yeah. Um, but still, what do you, that just means you can't take a prize. Like, I, I guess this turn's a setup turn for you, but you're really going all in on this one Mewtwo, and if it if it goes goes south, I mean, huh? Well, now that the more I think about it, that actually is pretty good. Uh, it does allow a Kyle. It does allow Kyle to go down to one card. While Jay being at three. Yeah, so it's not too bad. Um, it, it gives him more setup, but if Kyle just has like any sort of response, if he can just build up a response, then the game might be over. I hope for the love of. Oh god, Jay, don't take a prize this turn. <laughs> I hope he doesn't take a prize. Um, that would be just walking into this, like, counter Mewtwo kill. 
And it, he doesn't have a plus power, does he? Oh, uh, oh. He has a catcher. Oh, this... Jay, don't do it. Don't do it, man. All it... I mean, it'll take... Two Dynamotors, a DCE, and a plus power to knock out that Mewtwo. But Kyle's hand is ridiculously huge. It could very well happen. Alright. Moment of truth. Does Kyle have everything he needs to knock out that Mewtwo? Let's see. Come on, Kyle. Do you have it? Can't really see what's in his hand. Uh, let's see if I I don't know if there's any plus powers in his discard either. So what's Kyle gonna do here? It's considering Zekrom. Wouldn't be too bad. Uh, Jay does still have no real retreaters. Uh. Yeah. Okay, so he does go down with the Zekrom route. So, unfortunately, Kyle doesn't have the counter Mewtwo kill, which would have been quite epic, uh, and would have been very cool. Uh, however, we do see Bolt Strike with an Eviolite, probably. Yeah. Coming down. And it's just going to knock out that Thunderous. And Jay's really not going to... He's going to be hard-pressed for a response. Uh, Mewtwo's not going to be able to knock out that Zekrom. Uh, he will have a switch and an N, thanks to Junk Arm. But... It's just going to come down to this. Here we go. And if he, even if he attacks with Mewtwo, that still gives Kyle two cards worth just to try and fish out his own Mewtwo. And a catcher would also fish him out a win. But this game is still very winnable for Jay. Uh, he can still do it. I'm not sure what he's looking for here. Uh, yep, let's see. Jay, yep, send up the eel trick. There you go. And, uh, okay. So, a pretty good, a pretty good draw. You don't want to really draw too well off this. Um, so he's going to need a, he's going to need to catch your, or junk arm for a switch, and then N. That's really your only play here. Um, I'm not really sure what he's considering. Uh... But I don't really see many options out for him. Yep, gets a switch. And here comes Mewtwo. So here comes the end game situation for this matchup. Uh, two to one, and let's see who draws well. Uh, Jay looks like he only has a couple cards left in his stack. Well, Kyle has a pretty good grip. Uh, Jay will be joined two. Kyle will join one. And let's see if Jay can get a knockout this turn, which would be pretty good for him. Alright, here we go. Let's see what those two cards bring to Jay. One... Two DCE. So he will get a knockout on this Zekrom. And he's going to be threatening the win next turn. Uh, it's going to be very hard for Kyle to really pull out anything uh, unless he just has Juniper in his hand. Wow. Kyle, you are a boss, sir. I believe that was a Juniper. And I believe the other card's Dual Ball. Oh, it's Collector. Oh, man. There's Mewtwo. So, this game will classically end with Mewtwo going, eh, yeah, I almost won the game, and then Mewtwo on the other side of the board going, yeah, go Mewtwo. 
All right, so Kyle wins game one in a pretty pretty standard fashion. Uh, nothing really out of the ordinary came into play from either player, but it was a well-played game on both sides, and Kyle came out on top. So we will be going into game two momentarily.